In 1983, a crack commando unit was tasked with the making of the ultimate badass automobile. These men promptly designed a vehicle worthy of Mr. T himself. Today, still wanted by car collectors everywhere, it survives as a soldier of fortune. If you have a need for speed and if no one else can help, and if you find it, maybe you can hire the A-Team Van. Hi, my name is Nate Truman and I own a star car. It's a replica of the television series A-Team Van. I work in television. I've worked in movies and TV since the 80s. And I was actually on the Universal lot as a tour guide uh, when they were shooting the A-Team show. So probably why I ended up with one of these cars. The A-Team was a very popular show. It ran about six seasons. It's a great action show. What's not to like? Explosions, guns, car crashes, and cute girls. It doesn't get better than that. And the van was B.A. Baracus, Mr. T's van and it really was kind of a co-star of the show. Well, it's a 1983 GMC one-ton Vandura. And why do you think the producers chose this type of van? Van customizing was very big in the 70s and 80s. They just put it together and uh, tried to make a real specific looking cool van that could be their headquarters. 1983 was a long time ago, so most of these vans have been driven to death and crushed. I was at a auto auction trying to buy a car for my son, and rolling across the auction was this van but as a school van for the Yellow Unified School District, I looked at it, but that's a 1983 Vandura van. That's the A-Team van. So put in a bid and I got the van for $600. My wife was not surprised, but <laughs> kind of like, really, another project? So that started the project. It took me six months to eight months to get it all done. You kind of research and you find the right lights and you find the right paint job and what every Star Car guy does. You have to go through every episode and go, what you know, <laughs> what's that look like? What's the back door look like? And that's really a fun part for us is just get that one detail that nobody else has noticed. The hardest part on the car to find was the wheels and their very specific rims. So I've got a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder in there. And at car shows, kids look at that reel-to-reel -reel and go, what is that? What sort of technology is that? You know? And so I'll let the kids record themselves, play it back for them, and you know, be able to hear themselves on tape is really exciting, which just makes me feel old. <laughs> you got a couple of police scanners, a CB radio. I've got a signed autograph picture of the cast, and of course, gotta have a lot of guns. What about the cops? Have you ever been pulled over? I mean, you have all these guns in the back. They are all toy guns. Uh, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to the first time that a 20-year-old cop pulls me over who has never seen the show going, now why exactly do you have all these machine guns in the back of your truck? Do you have a favorite scene that featured the vehicle? Well, every time they jumped the van, and it usually meant the end of a van. Because <laughs> you can't jump a giant van like this and have it keep going afterwards. like owning this van? It's a lot of fun to drive. It's very comfortable, certainly compared to a Knight Rider or some of the other cars I used as a daily driver. To be able to sit in a van like Mr. T and get the same reactions he did in the, the cool van from the 80s, it's a lot of fun. And do you get any reactions on the road? Yeah, generally guys over 40, this was not a girl show. The guys just go, that's the coolest car. My favorite time I was pulling out of a the CBS Radford lot and had a guy in a Lamborghini come next to me and he was staring at that car and he goes, that is the coolest car in LA. <laughs> I was like, thanks very much. From where you're sitting, that's a big compliment. This is one badass star car from one badass show. I love it when a van comes together.